Two of the most common questions that people have about bears is how long bears can live and what's the leading cause of death for bears in the wild. While there are seven species of bears throughout the world, for this video we'll be looking at the bears of North America, which include the black bear, the coastal brown bear, of which the grizzly bear and kodiak bear are subspecies of, and the polar bear. This video is brought to you by The Adventures of King Kodiak, a fun and educational children's book series about the biggest bears in the world and the place they call home. Order your copies today at Amazon.com or by visiting the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3MinutesOutdoors.com. In captivity, such as zoos and closely managed wildlife conservation facilities, bears can live a long time, all the way up into their 40s. In such settings, bears have all their needs met, such as food and shelter, and any medical issues that they have can often be addressed. While living in captivity, bears have a routine but comfortable life. In the wild, however, bears face many challenges and their survival can be a tremendous struggle. In the wild, most species of bears in North America have a lifespan of around 20 to 30 years, though many die during or before their early 20s. As always, there are some notable exceptions though. The record for the oldest known wild black bear is 39 years, and the oldest Kodiak bear reached the ripe old age of 34. For bears living in the wild, they can die from a variety of both natural and unnatural causes. Some of the most common natural forms of death that bears experience is dying as a result of their dens being flooded and other natural disasters, starvation, infections and injuries, dying from wounds inflicted during fights with other bears, and also dying as a result of predation, such as when black bears are killed and eaten by grizzly bears. An interesting study from several years ago stated that many of the things that ultimately lead to a bear's death in the wild starts with tooth decay. When a bear gets a bad cavity, it can often become a source of infection and great pain and discomfort. That one bad tooth can start a chain reaction of negative consequences, such as a bear not being able to eat as much as it needs to survive, or not being able to consume its normal food sources, which then results in the bear getting progressively weaker, which results in less fat reserves and less energy to search for alternative food sources, as well as resulting in less strength to defend itself from other bears. So let that be a lesson to take good care of your teeth. There are many things that can be classified as unnatural causes of death for a bear. One of the greatest forms of demise for all species of wildlife all over the world, including bears, is that of habitat destruction. As more and more wild, natural expanses of land are covered in concrete and turned into urbanized, industrialized areas, wild animals are forced into relatively small, confined areas of natural habitat. The greatly limited food sources of those confined areas gets quickly depleted, resulting in disease and starvation for many different species of animals that live in such small areas. A direct result of habitat destruction is also the increasing phenomenon of bears and other wild animals moving into city and suburban areas and seeking out human food sources, such as gardens, trash, pet food, and whatever else they can get their paws on, which often has tragic results for both people and bears. Another major cause of unnatural death for bears is that of being killed by humans for a number of reasons. While legal bear hunting is greatly regulated and is ultimately used as a conservation tool to ensure a healthy, sustainable population of bears, Many bears also get killed illegally by poachers, with their organs being sold on the black market as supposed remedies for a variety of health issues. Many other bears are killed each year in defense of life and property. While killing a bear that's a serious, imminent threat to one's personal safety is a legal and justifiable act, it's also something that unfortunately gets taken advantage of, 
As many bears are simply killed out of an unrational fear, or paranoia, mostly due to lack of proper education about bears, and decades of fear-inducing, sensationalized movies, TV shows, books, and news stories. So that's a quick overview about how long the bears of North America can live and what the most common forms of death are for them. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com.